Hello world, this is What's Up 2 and Zero, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can pretty easily get any, uh, can get, to get pretty easily get administrator access on a Windows, um, off, office or college computer. Now, before we get started, I am not at fault if you get in trouble for doing this. If you choose to do this, and you get in trouble for doing it, it's not my fault. You, you know, keep... Keep watching, knowing that I'm not going to take responsibility for it. So what you're going to so what you're going to want to do is boot the computer up in safe mode. Now there are several ways to do this. Uh, one method you can use to boot the computer up in safe mode, which by the way, it'll be logged into the default administrator account on Windows when you do that. And um, one way you can boot, boot the computer up in safe mode is to turn it off and then keep turning it back on again. When it gets to the uh, Windows, like Windows is loading screen, just turn it off and then turn it back on and then just repeat this like five times or so. And it should eventually come to a screen that'll say like, wind, like wind, it looks like Windows is failing to load correctly. Um, but, and it'll show like a, loop of like a list of options and once it's a safe mode. Just scroll to that one and press enter on the keyboard and that'll boot it in safe mode. However, if you can do this way, it, it it may probably will be blocked on your school, on the computer trying to do, on your school or office or, um, you know, whatever computer, computer you're trying to do this on. But, you know, my preferred way of accessing safe mode is going to, is going to MS config. And then open, and then system configuration, MS config. Then go to boot and select safe boot. And then just click up, and then what this will do is it will tell the computer to boot up in safe, mo safe mode when it's turned on. If you don't know what safe mode is, it's basically where uh, the computer will only run the files that are necessary to run the operating system and nothing else. So once you just click apply and then click OK, then it'll ask you if you want to restart, say yes. And I'll join you in just a minute, or I'll be in safe. So once the computer is in safe mode, sorry, I can't run my uh, screen recording software because it's in safe mode. What you're going to want to do is open the command line. P.S. You are indeed in the computer's default administrator account right now, but uh, there's not very much you can do from here. So in the in this in safe mode. So what you're going to want to do is right-click, open, click on, click this, click on files. And go to um, OS slash C. Go to System 32. Which should be under the one that says Windows. Uh, if the camera's blurry, really sorry about that. I'm trying to keep it focused while I'm operating the computer at the same time. Here it is, System 32. And, go and what you're going to want to do is go to open CMD. Dot exe. So what you're going to want to do is just type, we're going to create an administrator account on the computer. And keep in mind, this administrator account, because it's on this computer and it's not going to be on the network, this administrator account will only be accessible from the computer that you're doing this from. So what you're going to want to do is in here type net user and then type whatever username you want, and try to make it an anonymous username so it's harder to catch you, it would be my advice. What's up? 2190 slash ADD. I mean, type, so type net user, type space, then type your preferred username here, then type space, slash add, then press enter. Command completed successfully, so that means it's just created 
a user called WhatsApp 290 on the machine. So what? So what? But that's just a normal user. So what you're going to want to do is just. Uh, so what you're going to want to do now is just go to is just to set a set a password on this user. Net. To do that, you just type net user. Whatever username you just type. Space. Slash star. Then type the password you want here. And you just set a password for the user. So what you're gonna want to do is so now we're gonna make it admin. Type net local domain add minus great ors then type your username, the one you just made. Add, and then press it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I was mistyping it before. You want to type net local group administrators username slash add, not lo local domain. Sorry about that. Then just press enter. Com command completed successfully. So you have just created an administrator account on that school computer using this method. Now again, I'm not at fault for getting in trouble with this. Now from here on out, um, what you want to do is just. If you did use the MS config method to get into safe mode, what you're going to want to do, do now is just use the command line to open MS config again, then just type MS config. And then click boot, and then press enter, and then click boot, and then uncheck safe mode. Then click apply. Then click OK. Now, what you should unfortunately I can't show this, but because uh, um, you know I don't have a school network on it. But what you want network on this computer? But what you're gonna? But all you have to, that's it. That's all you have to do now is just restart the computer, go back to your normal operating system. Which, by the way, if you use the turn it off, turn it back on again method to get into safe mode, then just yeah, just restart it normally. Whereas uh, it, yeah. And you can just, but like, where like, where it gets into like the part where it asks you for your username and password, just sign in using that username and password that you just created, and you will be signed in to an administrator account on that school, work, college, computer. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is what's up to a nine zero, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and hopefully, I'll see you next video.